Hello everyone, um, I am Mohamed Radwan, Microsoft ALM MVP and DevOps practice lead at Test House. I'm going today to talk about uh, part of the Azure automation. So let's go for the demo. I was about creating uh, my first TFS 2015 on Windows Azure, but I started facing some problem credit and it seems that I will run out of credit very soon as we can see. I lost about 600 krona. It's it almost about $100 in just a few days because I use a high configuration hardware for my machine. If we can see here that my credit will just will be enough to for 5 days because I I consume about 75 kronas per day. So, I just thought about of course I could reduce the, the configuration of the machine but I just thought it's better to uh, to have a good configuration then I thought it's better to find a way to to close the machine to reduce the computer hours and then I need to make a schedule to, to close and open the machine uh, of course I may uh, downgrade the configuration uh, to be a little bit uh, also, um, it's more important to remember that sometimes if you downgrade to uh, not from the standard to the basic, sometimes you can't go for the standard again. So, so I didn't want to read too much about that. So I thought it's better to start on. Uh, first, I did. I I don't need this machine. Um, uh, so okay, let's let close it uh, with with the automation. So I thought how to create an automation to close uh, virtual machines and to reopen them in a particular time. So at the beginning I need to create, uh, to go to the Active Directory and here in the default Active Directory I try to add some, even some domains, but this is uh, from the old time, but they are not uh, verified because I don't have a, a actual domain for them. But here I will start adding a user and this user will be an user in the organization and this user will be for the power shell and this is the domain, the default domain and the first name will be power, second name will be shell, <laughs> power shell user and the role will be a global admin because I need to use this role in uh, automation and run the automation for the PowerShell and here I need to put some email so I will put my email this is another email and because I using for automation then I should not uh, using this enable multi-factor authentication so and here then I will create this will create a temporary password and this is the temporary password and I will copy that password now the user is created let's go to change the password power shell and then add Mohammed SF this is the password yes and then it should ask me for changing the password and I will just put my new password then just updating the password so now it's for it should has a new password then I successfully created this user on the active directory and if we click on this user we can see this is the information of the users okay then I need to go to the settings and to the administrators and then start add MSF 
hotmail.on.microsoft.com yes great and then I will associate that with the MSDN subscription my MSDN subscription then I will enter so this account now is a co-administrator and they can run some automation on the Windows Azure okay after that I need to go to the automation and in the automation I will start to create a new automation so I will say automation one region it will be uh, Western Europe now creating my first automation so as I have the automation I will start creating the asset first and this asset will be uh, credentials and the credential type will be PowerShell credentials I can say this PowerShell credential to automate some PowerShell script this is the username on microsoft.com this is the password of course this is the new password like that I changed So now I succeeded to create these PowerShell credentials. This will be used to run some RAM box. Then I will go to the RAM box and start creating a RAM box. I will click on new and then in the automation select RAM box from category and here we will find many of the useful um, PowerShell scripts. Let's go for um, VM lifecycle and I can see here stopping the VM. So it is a community power script. So here I will say I will just add a run book so we can remember automation account it will be for the automation one and this is a subscription and now I have my first RAM book which include that how uh, uh, some PowerShell script or a PowerShell script that will execute it to stop the virtual machine so first let me add a schedule to run that and to do that I need to go to the asset and also start creating a schedule let's say this stop VM and here schedule so we know that it's better this one time no it will be daily because this will need to run every time and this will run every day at 12 o'clock this is good for now to shut down all the machines so now I successfully create a schedule this is my schedule so let's go for the RAM book and as we can see here the RAM book but of course this is not associated with any schedule yet so let's go for for the run book stop all VM and then author so as we can see this is the the default script but in this script it should obtain the credentials because in order to this script to run it needs an authority and credentials to to so it can you know process 
uh, the script and this credential also need not any credential but at least a co-administrator credentials so in this part I will because now I have an asset I and I saved the credential which is PowerShell credential that I created earlier then I will just obtain this credential and start using them to execute the PowerShell so here I will say PowerShell credential and here I will retrieve the credentials and to make sure that my script is running successfully I will delete all of that right good okay this should be then it should retrieve the credential and the print out in the output pen and this is the credential as we can see okay so now as we successfully retrieve the credentials we need to start uh, paste the the old part that we just deleted from here so I'll just try to we don't need this right now because this is a partial credentials and here I will just retrieve my subscription and my subscription name is Visual Studio Ultimate with MSDN this is my credential and then here I will get all the virtual machine and for each parallel because I, I just want to run them and because I don't want to close our virtual machine I will just leave the domain controller or at least one machine so I will you know if we get back to uh, I have here the domain controller and this is the, the least hardware configuration used so I will uh, let this without closing that and this also could help me to preserve the IBs for uh, the whole services because I need to, to leave at least one machine running and this is the least hardware configuration so so I will just change this script a little bit so I will just put an if condition I will just check to make sure if it is the domain controller I will not close the machine because I want to keep it so I will make my condition here I just write the condition to be so if the machine name is let's say it is equal or not equal then it will just go and you know just doing all that and it should do that okay I think this should be the service name sir this name then it should stop so let's try to run this script and see what will happen okay yes so this should retrieve all the virtual machine and iterate over them and the check if it is the domain then it will not stop the machine but if it is then it will stop the machine so let's look at the machine now and if they are going to change the status and stop all of them now is deallocated except the domain controller so now I know that my script working well all I need to do is just save of course and then after saving then publish the script now I can go to I have this published and and we can see the state here of the run book is published I can go to the automation yes it should be on the run book itself on the schedule 
I select the run book and schedule and here I will link the run book to an existing schedule and here I have my schedule so I select that so now, now it linked to the run book it linked to the schedule so the run book will run in this schedule it will stop all the machine now I need to create another run book that start the machine in a specific time so I will close all the machine except the domain controller in the evening and I will open them at the morning before the working hours of course this is a testing environment but I'm talking if we really need to save some money in the credits okay thank you